Good evening. Queensland Rail and the State Government won't say if heads will roll over the significant staff shortages continuing to impact the rail network across the southeast. Commuters are still being hit hard with hundreds of services to be cancelled in the coming weeks. Pippa Sheehan joins us now. Pippa, is there any relief in sight for passengers? Well, Georgie, no, there is. And across the next two weeks, more than 400 services are set to be cancelled as Queensland Rail continues to deal with this massive issue. Now, this means commuters could face waits of up to half an hour on their way to and from work each day. There's more than 100 new staff who've been announced, including 100 train drivers and 100 guards who'll come onto the network. They, however, will need to be trained in the meantime, though no one's saying whose job is on the line over this debacle back on track but not entirely ready to go. I, I know that we have got this wrong. I can't explain why we've got this wrong, but we will be looking at that in the very short term. Starting tomorrow, more than 400 train services will be cancelled across the next two weeks due to a lack of adequately trained staff. We are incredibly angry about what has happened here, but the priority must, must be on making sure that services are provided. The government is livid with plans to appoint someone to investigate what went wrong. To do a forensic examination, I want to know who knew what when, why it was not passed up the chain. As the issue played out across the weekend in the southeast, the Minister for Transport, Stirling Hinchliffe, attended the Gold Coast 600. This is one of Queensland's most secretive rooms. Those called to testify in the so-called Star Chamber have no right to silence. If they refuse to cooperate or lie, they can be jailed. They're a, uh, a very powerful tool we use, but we take very seriously uh, the use of them and we have to convince ourselves that there is a proper basis to use the powers. There's also concern the right to silence is being taken away in low-level cases. There has to be some balance, a balance between police powers, triple C powers on the one hand and civil liberties on the other. Over a decade, the number of investigative hearings have quadrupled to more than 340 a year. In 2017, Brisbane YouTuber Paul Pluter leaked top-secret documents detailing problems with Queensland Rail timetables and trains. New Gen is a huge up. It's understood he was summoned to the Star Chamber and forced to reveal his source. He's since been charged with allegedly revealing he was called to face a hearing. It'd be different if you were talking about a terrorist incident, but this was talking about problems within Queensland Rail that needed in the public interest to be disclosed. Do a forensic examination. I want to know who knew what when, why it was not passed up the chain. In 2017, Brisbane YouTuber Paul Pluter leaked top secret documents detailing problems with Queensland Rail timetables and trains. New Gen is a huge up. It's understood he was summoned to the Star Chamber and forced to reveal his source. He's since been charged with allegedly revealing he was called to face a hearing. It'd be different if you were talking about a terrorist incident, but this was talking about problems within Queensland Rail that needed in the public interest to be disclosed. Do a forensic examination. I want to know who knew what when, why it was not passed up the chain. In 2017, Brisbane YouTuber Paul Pluter leaked top secret documents detailing problems with Queensland Rail timetables and trains. New Gen is a huge up. It's understood he was summoned to the Star Chamber and forced to reveal his source. He's since been charged with allegedly revealing he was called to face a hearing. It'd be different if you were talking about a terrorist incident, but this was talking about problems within Queensland Rail that needed in the public interest to be disclosed. Do a forensic examination. I want to know who knew what when, why it was not passed up the chain.